oh my gosh, I've had so much going on lately that it's been crazy. So, um, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I kind of got off track. I actually, on my Facebook, I, I Facebook that I want to start doing like a video every other day. I mean, or every three days or something like that. And, um, after I Facebook that, I think like three videos or two videos after that, I stopped doing videos for like two weeks and that is not acceptable, but I've had so much going on. Uh, thank you guys so much for being patient. I've had my shower and we're looking for houses. We've bid on a couple houses to buy and there's just been a, a, my, it was my birthday. My sister came down from Calgary. So there's just been a, really a lot going on right now. Um. And my wedding's coming up next month now. I can't believe it's coming up so quickly. So I'm still planning for that. So I'm not finished getting everything for that. So I'm just kind of like, oh, it's going crazy. So I just wanted to do this video for you. A really quick hair tutorial because I was wearing my hair like this in a recent video. And people were asking me how I did my hair like this. And it is really, really simple. I'm going to warn you now. You know what? Some hair tutorials will do and I'll be like oh, I don't know if I want to do this because I feel like it's so easy but for me something that's easy for me might not necessarily be easy for you or easy for somebody else so um so that's why I do it. and a lot of my videos that have actually happened like that where I'm like uh this is probably way too easy and people aren't going to want to see it and then it becomes like people really really enjoyed that video so you never know what people are going to like um it, it always depends so this is the hairstyle. It's just like a little cute poof with just like a little bun thing in the back. I will link the video where I was wearing it in my last video. I'll link that below. Um, but it is so easy. And I just want to tell you that my next video, I'm going to have a giveaway. And it might be a two-parter, like a, a first, second prize. Or it might be a first, second, and third prize. So I will try to figure that one out and get back to you guys but that will be for sure my next video i'm gonna tell you the truth if i don't put a video up for like two weeks i get really nervous to put a video up i don't know why and then i then i like procrastinate and then don't put one up because i get really nervous about it don't ask me why i have no clue and i'm chewing gum right now it's probably really annoying throughout this whole video so i'm really sorry i usually don't because it is annoying when i watch people doing that so if you guys are interested in how i do this hairstyle it's really just cute easy it's awesome for second day hair for summer you want to dress up a, like a ponytail this is just a super easy way to do it um yeah so if you guys are interested just please keep watching uh if you have fine hair like i do and i know i say that a lot but if you do, it's going to make a difference if you blow dry your hair first with some mousse or something to give your hair some, um, I'm looking around to see what I use to give your hair some texture. I really like to use uh, this instantly thick full blowout lotion. It doesn't seem to have any alcohol in it, which is a good thing. And it's not like a mousse where it doesn't make your hair sticky, but it makes it thicker. Or um, what my hair was, which it doesn't look like now, was yesterday I diffused it and I had some, I used my Redken uh, spray starch. So it's thicker than it usually is. Like it feels thicker. And the reason I'm doing this is because this style actually has a, a more stiff look. And if my hair is really fine and limp, so without any product in my hair, it's going to just fall limp and it's not going to give me the, the look I want. So if you have fine hair, do that. If you don't have fine hair, this will probably work fine for you without having any type of preparation. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is take a comb, a back combing comb, um, something like this. And I don't know my wooden one. I like my wooden one better, but this one still works just as well. Um, my Danico one. But this one is by Amped Up by Cricut. So I'm just going to take this right here. And you're just going to back comb it just a little bit. You don't necessarily need to do this step. I like it because it gives you more volume at the front. The style holds better and it holds puffier. So you just need to do two little things like that and that's it. You don't really need to do anything spectacular. You don't even need to spray it or anything like that. And then you're just going to take your elastic. You're going to pull your hair <clears throat> in a ponytail on the top of your head. And see how it flattens out as I pull it? Don't worry, and I know people are going to be like, well, why did you do that if it's going to flatten out anyways? Because the underlying is still is back combed. So even though it doesn't show it on the top until I use my tools or whatever, it still... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's really dry. It still has an underlying back comb. So you could pull it, just pull it. You don't have to pull it completely tight, but pull it as high as you want. 
it just gives it a nice base to your poof you're going to want. So basically I think everybody knows how to do this. You just pull it in a ponytail and then your last twist instead of going in a ponytail again you just pull it over like this and it goes like that so you have like a little loop thing and you just pull it to whatever kind of shape you want like however big of the loop you want and see how it's more um, poofy like it looks thicker because it has product in it so now this is the part that's the most important because I think most people know how to do that little bun or whatever that's called uh, thing. So you're going to take, I usually like my wooden brush because it's really stiff. I don't know where it went. You can take the back of your comb. This is more flimsy. That's why I'm not really using it. Um, so I'm using my comb instead of my brush comb, I guess you can call it. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to take your, ha your hair, pull this, and start pulling it up. So take a little piece at a time. And don't just rip at it because, um, first of all, it's not good for your hair. Second of all, you can't put it back in once you t pull, start pulling it out. So, um, so basically, I, I do I t pull the bigger pieces in the middle, right? And you want to taper them down so they go like this instead of just having these sit up, sit up straight and then tight. I like to taper them so they go with my hair so it goes kind of like a nice like arc shape like that instead of this just being a tall poof and then um, and then flat at the sides so so if you want this part to be a little bit poofier like the front part of it this is why we backcombed it because now it's stiff if you do this without backcombing it it actually turns out a little bit differently because you've already pulled the hair frontwards so um, when you backcomb it, if you don't backcomb it, the hair's not pulled frontwards. Um, it's hard to explain, but if it's not pulled frontwards, then the the style will automatically be more pulled back like this. So this way, we can move it towards the front more of your head. So see, there it gives a nice bump right here in the front instead of it falling back more. And then you can shape it better this way as well. So when you back comb it. You just want to make sure it's even on both sides. Sometimes it looks even in my mirror and then when I look at my camera it doesn't look even. And that's it. You won't even need to use any bobby pins or anything. You might, I mean if you have shorter bangs, you can, I like this because you can do this with any style. If you have like really short bangs, it's going to be much harder to do this style obviously. Um, but if you have pretty long bangs, usually you could just hairspray it and it'll stay back. But you can take some bobby pins, see like this, pull them open. And see how it's pulled open like this? And you can see. And then you just pu push it in this way. So wherever there's like p pieces that are sticking out, just take it and then push it in like this. And then you can barely see the bobby pin and then you have a, instead of, you know, and then you have a poof instead of having bobby pins put this way where you can see them. Bobby pins are meant to be de undetectable, they're not meant to be shown, so that's what they're there for. They're there just to finish styles and stuff, so they're not actually meant to be barrette. I mean, you can use them for everything, anything you want, but. So anyways, I just want to clean this style up maybe just a little bit I have some hairspray because I have these little tiny hairs sometimes I like to leave them down these little hairs here I think it's cute to give me that kind of sideburn look I guess I think it's cute to do that or um, I like to do that because I find I feel like I have a little bit of elf ears like my I kind of feel like I look like an elf like a little bit and then you can spray the rest of it but basically that is it so stay tuned for my giveaway that I'm going to be having my next video Thank you guys so much for subscribing, and remember I have a Facebook and a Twitter, and I actually have, I have a Pinterest too. I, I pin stuff, I'll, I'll get like really into it, and then I'll stop, and then whatever, so if you guys want to follow me, all that stuff is HairGirl247, so um, if you just want to look that up, I'll link everything below. Hope you guys like this quick style, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And...